that is more sure you see it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrock thank you for joining us if this is your first time the here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your Jesus first time here, right and these messages are blessing you, then the consider becoming God a partner with today. us. I have been transformed into something I wasn't before. Something new, something different, something better. Mm -hmm. I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper. You become a Holy Ghost worshiper by worshiping the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. as a Holy Ghost worshiper you have a greater say greater, greater a greater relationship with all the promises of God mm -hmm. why would that be he is the promise mm -hmm. and in him are all the promises therefore you have a greater relationship by worshiping him mm -hmm. with all the promises of God yes. does that make sense mm -hmm. yes. I mean it might sound a little strange to say I have a, a relationship with the promises of God but you relate to them better say I relate to them better I relate to them better. You know, a lot of people don't relate to prosperity because they don't know him they don't worship him the God of prosperity a lot of people don't relate to healing and youth renewal because they don't know him the God of all healing and youth renewal well he is that when you worship him you have a greater relationship with all say all of his promises second peter chapter 1 and verse 19. we have also a more sure word of prophecy what's a word of prophecy by the way before we even get into this things spoken by the unction of the holy ghost that are supposed to come to pass yes we have a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture mm -hmm. say of the scripture, of the scripture. Now we have these prophecies. Are you still here? These prophecies are already spoken. And they're intended to come to pass yes. because they were spoken as a prophecy. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost they spake mm -hmm. say they spake, they spake as they were moved by the holy ghost and this says we already have it we have a more sure word now more sure than what you might say well let's look up verse 17 for he jesus received from the father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased verse 18 and this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount so this is what peter is talking about mm -hmm. when he says we mm -hmm. have a more sure word what we have is more sure than that voice speaking to jesus on the holy mount are you here yeah let's read it hold your finger there if you can if you have more than one finger this will work <laughs> matthew chapter 17 verse 1 and after six days jesus takes peter james and john his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart this is the experience the vision mm -hmm. that peter was talking about mm -hmm. that we just read yes. 
verse 2 and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him so moses and elijah both appeared in this vision then answered peter you see how peter's here mm -hmm. and then answered peter and said unto jesus lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make three tabernacles one for thee one for moses and one for elijah verse 5 and while he yet spake behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him and as they came down from the mountain jesus charged them saying tell the vision say the vision. the vision tell the vision to no man until the son of man be risen from the dead now this was peter james and john and peter wrote about it it was a vision and he was supposed to tell people about it after jesus was raised from the dead was this this pretty much a really dramatic and concrete example of god speaking to peter and showing them things and jesus showing him things mm -hmm. establishing who jesus was second peter chapter 1 verse 18 and this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount we have also a more sure word of prophecy that you do well if you take heed he was saying as 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 wonderful and powerful as that experience was mm -hmm. we have something that's more sure and prophetic mm -hmm. for us say for us, for us. we have it mm -hmm. and he goes on to say the prophecy of the scripture given by the holy ghost each promise of god each written promise of god the prophecy of the scripture mm -hmm. having already been said mm -hmm. is more sure than that that experience that peter had mm -hmm. are you getting this mm -hmm. and then he says we're supposed to take heed to that scripture until the day star arises in our hearts right mm -hmm. more powerfully mm -hmm. than what happened to peter on the mount of transfiguration i'm trying to get this across each promise of god is more sure than that is it scriptural to say that mm -hmm. peter was the one who had this experience this vision and was saying that well i'm going to try and drive this home tonight saying of the scriptures is more sure than that experience peter had now you would say that that experience peter had was life-changing and powerful mm -hmm. right yes. and he was there he was like hey let's build a couple tents and stay here mm -hmm. but he's saying the prophecy of the scripture or the saying of the scripture say the saying, the saying of the scripture, the scripture is more sure than that mm -hmm. we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well if you take heed what if i don't take heed i'm not going to do so well if i take heed say if i take heed i, take heed. I do well how well do you do you do as well as that more sure word will do which is more sure mm -hmm. it's a prophecy for you if you take heed listen it's a prophecy for you if you take heed what is the more sure word mm -hmm. but you have to do something you take heed until Say until, until until the day dawn in your heart mm -hmm. until the day star rises in your heart mm -hmm. what if it didn't rise yet you didn't take heed until mm -hmm. 
proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings Amen. you can only incline your ear to sayings your ear doesn't hear this right. it hears it when you say it so you're inclining your ear to his sayings you're attending to his word his spoken words mm -hmm. incline your ear to my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart for they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh what is life to those who find them his spoken words mm -hmm. that's how you take heed by speaking his words his spoken words are life to you mm -hmm. his spoken words are health to all their flesh and i have a, in my margin it says medicine his spoken words are medicine to all your flesh his spoken words are medicine to all your flesh you take heed by saying until the day dawns on you you take heed by saying you take heed by saying his word spoken is more sure his spoken word is more sure his words spoken out your mouth is more sure his word spoken is more sure did you get it yet his word spoken is more sure what's more sure his word spoken it's the prophecy of the scripture it's the saying of the scripture until god's word in your mouth is more sure it's more certain than what peter had happened to him mm -hmm. and we're pretty sure that that was that was the real deal yeah. mm -hmm. speaking god's word is a more sure prophecy over your life than peter by vision saying thus says the lord are you here yep. have you come to this place yet i'm trying to get you there me saying God's word out my mouth is more powerful in my life it's more sure it's a more sure word of prophecy than Peter appearing or Moses appearing or Elijah appearing or anybody appearing and saying thus says the Lord over me this is more sure me saying God's word out my mouth are you here in my estimation there'd be none greater and in most people there'd be none great peter peter james and john they were all there in this vision they all experienced it they all saw moses and elijah talking with jesus and most would agree there's nothing more powerful than that specific vision that they had mm -hmm. yet the spoken promises out your mouth are more sure get that straight yes. say the spoken promises, spoken out, promises. My mouth out my mouth are more sure. are more sure well I have a word for you the spoken promise is more sure a lot of people aren't here yet but I'm trying to get you there I work on it regularly the spoken promise is more sure this pleases God the Holy Ghost that I've said this to you chapter and verse in your mouth is greater chapter and verse in your mouth is more sure if you say it and this applies to every verse every promise of God written in this Bible if it's in your mouth it's more sure than that does that make sense mm -hmm. well as I was doing my giving this month I write checks out and I send them to various ministries a few months ago as I'm walking down the driveway to put my checks in the mailbox 
and i was about ready to pray over my offerings like we do you know oh god do something with this money and whatnot mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> the holy ghost spoke to me and he said don't ever pray over your offerings ever again say luke 6 38 luke 6 38 says give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom with the same measure you meet it shall be measured to you well after doing that just the other day i came back and said to my daughter she was there i said guess what i, I didn't pray over my offerings mm -hmm. i didn't do it mm -hmm. he told me don't pray over your offerings anymore mm -hmm. i said i have given and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom with the same measure i met it is measured unto me that is more sure do you see it yes are you hearing it mm -hmm. well this applies to every other verse or promise that's in the bible the same thing applies the same thing applies the same thing applies the word will fulfill itself in you and for anyone who will say it it is a more sure word of prophecy can you hear that mm -hmm. over your life than peter prophesying or moses appearing or elijah right mm -hmm. i would consider that pretty big yes. if moses or elijah appeared in my room in vision form because it was a vision mm -hmm. would have to be by the holy ghost i would consider that pretty big a pretty big deal but if i'm going to be scriptural it would not be a bigger deal than me saying god's word out my mouth mm -hmm. it's more sure are you here yes. i hope i'm getting this across sometimes you, know, you got to keep saying things one way say it another way until we finally oh why didn't you just say that <laughs> i believe the word of god spoken out my mouth comes to pass say it i believe, I believe. The, word god, the word of god spoken out my mouth, out my mouth comes, to pass. comes to pass it's more sure and here is a key to walking with the holy ghost who is god in the earth today i have become that which was spoken as sure as the day star arises mm -hmm. you know what the day star is what would you call the day star? The sun? Yeah, it's a star and it arises. It's just as sure. It's, is it going to happen tomorrow? Yes. Did it happen today? Yes. As sure. It's more sure. He's likening it that he's likening you saying God's word out your mouth to that. It is a certainty. I have become this, that which was spoken. I think I'm getting this across. Psalms 107. What's what's more sure than a vision or any of that other stuff? The prophecy of the scripture, the saying of the scripture, speaking the word of God, saying it, saying it. Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he sent his word how do you send your word you say it he said his word and his said word healed them his said word delivered them say his said word healed me his said word delivered me Proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it what is a blessing by the way we well, could read those in the Old Testament what is, it's saying mm -hmm. it's saying something over someone mm -hmm. when somebody blesses someone they're saying words over that person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a blessing is word spoken 
the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it I am his said word his spoken word made rich no sorrow added are you here mm -hmm. this is more sure when is it more sure when it's spoken when is it spoken when you speak it second mm -hmm. corinthians 4 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believed and therefore have i spoken we believe and therefore speak it's the same spirit of faith mm -hmm. according to as it is written what do you mean as it is written well how do we get these written scriptures how do we get these written promises mm -hmm. that we believe and speak holy ghost spoke them mm -hmm. we have the same spirit of faith we believe and speak them we believe those written scriptures and speak them yeah. it's the same spirit of faith mm -hmm. we believe those written scriptures and speak them yeah. it's the same spirit of faith mm -hmm. god already released his faith in it and when we speak them we are partaking of the same spirit of faith mm -hmm. that's already in those scriptures that's why it comes to pass for you when I am speaking his verses his promises I'm prophesying my exact future I'm prophesying my exact future when I say God's words more sure I'm prophesying my exact prosperity my exact healing my exact deliverance my exact youth renewal mm -hmm. all are secured by my saying and it's more sure mm -hmm. prophecy must be said to come to pass mm -hmm. these are not difficult concepts prophecy must be said prophecy is words that have to be said mm -hmm. In order for them to come to pass these more sure words must be spoken for them to come to pass in your life mm -hmm. I choose to say his words and it becomes my future mm -hmm. I choose to say his words and it becomes my future first Timothy 6 17 says the living God gives me richly all things to enjoy what happens to me if i say that and continue to say it until it arises living god gives me richly all things to enjoy that is my future i have just spoken that word mm -hmm. and i move into it yeah. is that more sure than if i had a vision yeah. scripturally Joshua 24 15 says choose you this day whom you will serve you choose the promises that you're going to move into by saying mm -hmm. you choose the promises that you're going to move into by saying you choose your more sure future my future is uncertain yeah probably is mine isn't I have a more sure future my God supplies all my need Amen. living God gives me richly all things to enjoy the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it mm -hmm. he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions all of these things spoken on my mouth are more sure than any vision you could possibly have mm -hmm. if you haven't seen your future in it the spoken word yet 
you haven't said it enough did you hear that mm -hmm. if you haven't seen your future in that word yet you haven't said it enough you become it it becomes you I become healed I become prosperous I become that thing which was spoken you change you go from glory to glory it doesn't stop that word didn't just stop when your bill got paid it keeps going you keep going all the promises of God they are his word spoken over your life when you begin to use your mouth and get in agreement with those promises you will be transformed from one thing to the next and those words will become manifest in your life in a way they could not have been before for I have made this the way for you to walk and you shall walk in it when you commit to speak my word I commit to fulfilling that exact word in your life we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are a God of wealth I worship you and serve you by speaking your words those words spoken by me are more sure than any vision or revelation I am blessed I am healed I am made rich with no sorrow added. in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God